What's up YouTube? Bobbles and Ball Cards back with another video. Um, hope everybody's been doing good. Once again, you know, just want to say that. Um, hope everybody's staying healthy. Uh, those that are staying inside, I know it's getting really boring because <laughs> I'm not used to being at home every day and you know, that sort of thing. So with that, I've been trying to use my time to make some content uh, for YouTube and something for you guys to, you know, take a look at when you're bored. Um, I really appreciate all the input and the feedback and um, the comments and people that have reached out to me and everything. Um, I really do appreciate that. Um, I'm glad to know that people have enjoyed my videos and they've been helpful. Um, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little preview video. Um, I'm actually ready to send my next order off, thankfully. Um, didn't take long to get enough sold to have enough to send the next one off. And as I've said in a previous video, um, when I sell cards, I actually use that money to invest back into sending more, um, buying, you know, sometimes I'll buy stuff raw very rarely um but it also goes towards me buying more packs or boxes or whatever you know um adding things to my pc that sort of thing um so this isn't uh what i live off of i do have a full-time job unfortunately i've been at home right now because of the virus just to protect myself and my family um i've made that choice um but with that, I thought it'd be cool this time to actually show what I'm sending before I send it. And then when it comes back, I can do a reveal video like I did the last time. Um, give you guys an idea of how long it took and what the cards were before grades. Um, before they were graded and then see what they're like when they come back. Uh, last uh, submission, as I stated, I didn't really sit down and inspect the cards that well. Um, what you see in front of me here, why these are here, this is just an idea of what I have. Um, this is some of what I have. I couldn't fit everything up here. But um, these are kind of what I use, these little display boxes. Once the product's done at Walmart or whatever, I'll ask if I can have these boxes. And they work great for me to put the, the card savers in and help me keep everything organized. So these are two boxes that I have. Um, so you, you can kind of see, um, I mean, these things are, there's tons in here. So um, this is kind of my little setup. Players I've set aside when I open packs, I'll put them in the card savers. Um, and then they go in these boxes. And then the tough part comes when I'm ready to do the submissions is picking out what cards I want to send. Because, you know, like I said, I'm only doing between 100 and 125 at a time right now. Um, this is actually, I'm going to just go ahead and stick with 110 like I did on the last one. Um, so anyway, just wanted to put those up there so you guys could see um, kind of what, you know, how much I have that I'm working with and that sort of thing. Um, let me move them out of the way. All right. Now. I also have a stack here. Somebody asked me um, if I could go through and kind of show how I scrutinize cards. So I do have some cards here. Um, some are still out of the Ultra Pro, but some are still in there. I can go through some of those and tell you guys uh, why they did not meet my cut for uh, sending in. Also, when I send my cards in, I group them together by player makes it easier on me makes it easier on the graders um i put everything in order like you know for example there's boba shet and then it goes into keston hira um also i make a spreadsheet of everything that i send that way i have it for my records um instead of just the online submission forms or whatever but anyway let's get to uh showing you guys i'm going to start with baseball first i actually went with less baseball this time but um first up i have 
four of the 2020 Topps Boba Shets. These cards all seem to be really good. I one thing, use the magnifying glass, guys. It it a miracle worker, especially if you want good grades. One thing I will point out with these, um, just in case anybody has some to grade, I did notice it's weird this bottom corner right here. Every single one of them I looked at seems to look like it has a white dot and it's the same exact place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm doing four. I have probably 12 of these, I think. Um, I, I picked these four. I'm going to go ahead and send these in. See if that dot matters or maybe that's part of the, the printing on it. Um, next up, I have Keston Hira. I have one of his uh, update rookie debut golds. I have, let's see, doing five of his regular tops updates. I have a lot more of these, but I picked five while I'm on the topic of him to show you guys. I have two right here. I don't know how well it'll pick up on the camera. Um, these I will not send in. These two corners up here, they look like they have some white on them. This one, as you can see, kind of, it's really crisp and does not show any signs of white. So this looks like a really good card. It might with 10, but because of that little dot right there, I'm choosing to exclude these from the order. But I also have a lot more, so I'm only sending five in this time. I have one of the Topps Chrome update. I have, I believe, four or five more of these um, to send in at a later date. But I wanted to at least send one in. Um, next up is Vlad. I got five of his Topps update. This card is really tricky because it looks like they got cut weird up here and it could be the same thing with Hira. It's really dark across the top so you could see some corner or chipping up along this dark edge. And these under microscope there's no white or anything. It looks like the way tops cut them they just got cut at a little weird angle or something. I don't know so I think it's just the way they look because under magnification they look fine. Um, so I, I'm going to try five of these, see what they get. I know my gold came back a 10, so I'm praying these do too. Um, then next up, we got a couple of the, uh, regular tops chrome of Vlad. I like these because it looks just like the short print. Then I have a pink of the tops chrome. Then there's a Tatis from, uh, this is from Update, the 84 Tops version from the Silver Packs. I have one of those. I have a bunch of Tatis. I decided to send four of these in. I already have some that I got back from my last order, so I'm sending four in this one. Um, these all look really good. Main thing, again, you have this dark edge right here. Make sure you're checking that edge real good. On the backs... The main thing you'll have on the backs is the edge that's colored. You want to make sure those corners are real good. I mean, these could still get chipped or bent, but it's going to show most on these dark corners. So that on the on the 2019 tops, always check those corners. Then I have three of the tops chrome. These all look pretty good. Um, one thing I'm showing corners and stuff like that. Always, the main thing that the magnifying glass is going to help you with is with the surfaces. Check for scratches. Scratches are so hard to see. Um, check the scratches real good, um, especially on basketball cards, which I'll get to later. The scratches can kill you. Um, I have two Pete Alonzo from 2016 Bowman. These are just the paper versions. Um, I, I really like paper cards. Um, I think it's more of a traditional thing i know they don't have the the value of the chromes but the paper cards you can't go wrong with them they're cheap to get um they don't have a lot of raw resale value so grade them you can get you know 20 30 40 bucks you know depending on who the player is so can't go wrong with the paper card again you do have dark borders on the back so make sure you check those next up this is the uh 
photo variation from the complete set. It does look very similar to the regular version, but this is the photo variation. But I have one of those. Then I have three of the Series 2 Pete Alonzo's. I'm going to go ahead and send in this time. I didn't send many of him last time, so no people like him. I'm not big on him, but I do have a lot of his stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and send some off with him. Um, next up, I have two of the Chrome Alonzos. Oh, another thing on these, um, the big four rookies, I don't, I'm sure some people may know, but these cards are actually cut smaller than all of the other Chromes. Um, do not know why. Very weird. Um, I apologize, guys. I'm back. Um, the video cut off on me because my camera battery died. <laughs> um, it's funny. It seems like every time I do a new video, I'm learning new things. And one of the things is my camera does not appreciate doing 4K. And it drains my battery real quick. So, um, anyway, I put it on the charger for a little bit. Looks like I got full charge again or close to full charge so we should be good to go ahead and continue with this um anyway like i was saying on these uh tops chrome cards the the main four rookies alonzo tatis eloy and vlad the cards are actually uh cut a little bit smaller i don't know if anybody's ever noticed that or if you've heard about that um it doesn't affect grading them um but it's just one thing to note um as far as the sizing um, it's, it was a interesting thing when these first came out and I guess Topps had to release the sizing for these the those four cards but anyway next up I got Raphael Devers this is his Topps Chrome it's the prism refractor um, I think Devers could could have a little bit of increase if he can put on a good year if baseball actually comes back but um Got his uh, Chrome Rookie Prism Refractor. This is from the complete set that had the uh, Chrome Refractor Variation cards in them. You got one, or you got a chance at one. Um, I think it had five different players you could get, which was Otani, Devers, Victor Robles, uh, maybe Reese Hoskins. I can't remember all five guys. Um, but I submitted the Otani one in my last submission, so I'm going to do the Devers in this one. Cool card. Um, they actually made colors and super fractures of that, of those, so that's pretty cool if you ever, like, spot one for sale. Um, next up, I got a 2016 Bowman Draft, Gavin Lux, Chrome. Um, another kid, he's kind of popular right now, his rookies in 2020 tops, so... You can never go wrong with submitting a first Bowman of a, a good player. Um, next is Luis Robert. This is another paper version. I sent a couple in my last order. I actually got a gold label of one of these. So hopefully um, this one's good too. The centering looked pretty good on it. So I'm uh, going to give this one a shot and see what I can get out of it. Next we have Eloy Jimenez. This is from Top Series 2. Um, it's just the 150 year gold stamp. Again, you'll notice with a lot of these rookies, even though, you know, the, there's no border to them or anything like that, they do have these dark edges, which can be very tricky with the corners and the, the edge chipping and stuff like that. Again, as I mentioned earlier, the back, just always watch for that. Check your corners. Um, another thing I didn't mention, I'll, I'll show it in, on another card coming up here soon. Um, but with these paper cards, it's more than just the uh, corners and edges and everything. But I'll get into that in a few minutes. Next up is another rookie debut. This is from uh, 2019 Tops Update. It's Kevin Biggio. It's actually the Father's Day Blue kind of awesome card i know the rookie debuts don't hold a whole a lot of value but um this is still it's only numbered out of 50 um the blues and the pinks are both out of 50 and i thought this one was really cool with the uh the blue border and going with the blue jays next up is a jordan alvarez i actually have uh quite a few of his 
uh, Series 1 Tops cards. Um, I like this one. I love the mojo pattern that they do on the cards. This is from the Silver Pack. It's the 1985 Tops design. This one is slightly off center, but again, you know, it's a card that if it doesn't tan or doesn't have any resale value, it's just one cool to add to the collection because I like the pattern in it and everything. Which some of these cards, they're just going to be, you know, I know some may not tan out of all of these that I'm submitting. Um, but they're cards that I think, especially with the black border, will look really nice. This happens to be one of them. Um, so that's a Yordan 85 version mojo out of the silver pack. And last up is the Gleber Torres um, from 2018 Tops Holiday. This has the same type of deal as the Acuna from 18 Tops Holiday. It looks like the SP from the Series 2. I don't have, I think I only pulled two of these unfortunately. Um, so I thought I would include one of these. I got the uh, Acuna one, which is obviously the nice bat down photo. But I thought it would be cool to have one of the Gleaver. You know, even though it's got the snowflakes and everything, it's just a cool card. And, you know, it's it's obviously a lot less more valuable. But just to add to my collection, you know, can't, can't hurt to go ahead and send it in and get it slabbed up and graded. So... With that, that is the baseball portion. Um, I believe there's around 45 cards, I think. I can't remember exactly, but like I said, I did went heavy on baseball last order. So this order, I'm going to go about a little under half with baseball. And then I decided to go real heavy on basketball for this one. Um, I have a lot of both, so I'm going to go basketball. Before I get into um, showing all of the uh, basketball cards and everything, here's a bunch of cards that I omitted from sending for various reasons. What I wanted to talk about with paper cards, and I don't have this one in the sleeve obviously, and I don't think it'll show up on the camera. On the paper cards, this Trey Young, just looking at it, it, it looks perfect. I mean, the centering is really good, corners are sharp, there's nothing wrong with the edges. It's a paper card. And one thing you still have to look at, and it's very hard. I don't I don't think you'll be able to see it. But right here, along where his arm is, there's actually a scratch in the surface of this card. So just because it's a paper card and it's not chrome, they can still get scratched. There will be little dimples in it that Acuna that I got back last time that had an 8. Um, <clears throat> that actually had a dimple in the surface. So don't think because it's a paper card that all you got to do is check the corners and the edges and the centering. Because these can suffer just as much surface. They don't have that thick clear coat that the prism cards and stuff have. But they do have a little sh shine to them. Um, and they can get scratches and everything, so just be sure to check those out. And that's one that I'm that I'm not sending in. Um, this Tatum, this card has no surface issues, side to side and everything. It looks really good. Um, what made me decide on this one, and it's something that's real tricky because if you look at the lines, it looks like it's pretty well centered. But if you notice here where the Prism logo is. And then down here where the Celtics name is, you can actually see it's off-centered top to bottom. This space and that space should be pretty equal. And on this one, you can see it's obviously lower. So, unfortunately, the Tatum and the green, it's a really cool card. It's his second year, but the green with the Celtics uniform is pretty awesome. And the greens actually look really nice in the SGC case, but this one cannot go. Um... Here is the silver. Again, you can kind of see top to bottom um, that the centering is off. Also, with these prism cards, they scratch very, very easily. I do not get concerned so much with the scratches on the back if they're very light and only visible in, you know, in bright lighting. I think most of the grading companies are... Um, they're not being very strict on it because they know it's on so many cards. They, they aren't really worried about that portion of it, but always check your surface with magnifying glass. 
And these cards can be really tricky on the centering. So I always just kind of look at the lines, make sure that they're pretty um, even on both sides. But then again, don't worry about this top line here. Pay attention to your prism logo and the name down at the bottom and that'll help you out a lot. And that's on the 18 ones. Now, we're going to get into this year's prism, or this year's optic and prism. Um, it's very discouraging. Such a hot product. The prices are outrageous as far as, you know, if you can't find it on the shelf in a store, you're going to pay a markup on it. Panini themselves on optic were selling blasters on their website for 50 bucks a piece. A $20 box, and they're selling it for $50. I'm not going to get into this too much. Um, I really am disappointed in Panini on that aspect. But I want to show you, like, I had several Kobe Whites. He's a player that I feel was coming on strong before the season got put on hold. Um, he's holding some very good value. I think he could increase even more, especially if, uh, if everything gets back to normal and he can continue playing at a high level. But I want to show you just some examples on on why it's upsetting that basketball products are going so much increased in price, but the quality is getting so horrible. This card, it it's hard to find one even centered. This one you can see clearly off centered, right? This one is centered. Now, I almost sent this in until I noticed something. And if you notice up here at the top, right here, there's a line going across it. This isn't the normal print line or the little print defect. This is that little border that they put around to like outline everything. That's all shifted lower. Now, this card might grade to fine. They may not even look at that because you can see the white border is centered. However, when I'm sending cards in, I want to make sure I'm sending the best cards I can. So, with that being said, and, you know, for right now, this card's going to get set aside. As well as all of these, just because of the centering, or, you know, this one here is another example of that outline being off. Um, it's really sad. I only had, like, six or seven of these Kobe Whites. And here's four of them right here that I, I can't even send in. Here's another one. Um, this is a Darius Garland purple wave. I love the purples, especially in the black uh, bordered case. But you can clearly see this card's off-centered to this side. It's further over this way than this way. Um, I, I protect my cards really well, so you know most of my corners are always going to be fairly good unless I absolutely miss something. Um, so it really comes down to surface problems and centering and things like that. But there's another one. Uh, this is Colin Sexton. Another example. It's a purple. I'd love to send it in. Unfortunately, it has some scratches going across it. Um, they're not going to pick up on the camera. But I'll just tell you, you know, this card looks great. But it has a scratch. I can't send it. And some of the scratches actually look like just the production line like whatever machine it is they send it through it's just that they don't care they're either doing them too fast or they're not cleaning the machines or something something's getting on them in fact um i'll show you in one in another video i had a bunch of uh cam reddish here's a few right here I believe it's this one right here and i'll see if that'll if it'll show up on camera um but right here, I don't know if you can see that too well. But right there, this card, that is not a scratch. I actually looked at it under the uh, magnifying glass. It actually looks like a piece of lint or something that got on the card before they put the clear surface on it. It will not wipe off. It's stuck in the card. It's actually a bump. And it looks to be like a fiber of some sort. I don't know if they cut a jersey up and the particles from the, the jersey got in the air or something. I don't know. But just another example of, of bad quality. Um, and then here's some more, you know, Kobe White. This has got those little print lines going, or 
roller line scratch looking lines going across it sad because again centered card i can't send it in because the surface there's a cam reddish same thing um this one i sent i'm actually i'll show you i'm sending two in um these cards here and i'll point these out in the other ones but um i don't know if these are going to 10 or not um here's the variation it's off centered um so anyway enough of that uh, just wanted to show some of what I take out when I'm submitting. And let's get into some more that I am submitting. This is a 1718 Optic. This is De'Aaron Fox. This card looks a little off-center, but I'm not 100% positive. I want to try it. Um, the Tatum I got back it didn't get a 10. But um, I had this Fox laying around, so I figured I would go ahead and give it a shot. Here's a Tatum Second Year Silver. This one actually looks really good. Um, you can see what I was talking about with the, the name and the prism. It's more equal here and here. So this one I felt was better centered. So I'm going to send that. Here's a Anthony Simon silver. Another one um, looks really well centered. Corners and everything are good. I didn't notice anything on the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and send him in. He's a pretty good young player. Not very valuable, but still good nonetheless. These next few here, these may not 10. These have the notorious print lines in them. Um, a lot of people will notice the shocks, the uh, the uh, pulsars, the hypers, the checkerboards. They all, any of these patterned cards seem to be really, really bad with um, having print lines in them. I'm going to submit these. I think they'll look cool in the... Uh, black border case i don't know that they'll 10 if they do that just means sgc is forgiving of the print lines um it'll be interesting to see um so anyway i got the michael porter the Devonte graham the colin sexton and the marvin bagley so those are all from 1819 optic the uh shock versions here is a Darius Garland purple from this year's Optic. I didn't notice anything with the surface or anything like that, and it looks really good. The The outline and everything was really good on this one. So another one, I love the purples and the blacks, so I wanted to go ahead and send it in. Next up is the purple My House, John Morant. Love these cards. Love the way they look. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and send it in. Got uh, DeAndre Ayton from 1819. Um, again, just inspect your surfaces. Check your corners real good. Um, check your centering. That's going to be the thing that kills you the most is your surface and centering. But I have the regular base and a green. I uh, want to go ahead and send those in. I sold the silvers and stuff of him that I had already. So I want to send these two in and get them graded. Got uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., just the base Don Russ. Um, I love the paper cards. You know, I, I talked about that in my last videos. Um, so, got a Jaron here. I'm going to go ahead and send one of these in my order. Um, I got the shock again. Hopefully it tends. If it doesn't, it should look really nice in the slab. So, see how this does. Next up, um, these are two more that I have to worry about the print lines. You can see this one has it going down here and across here. Otherwise, it's centered. It looks really good. Um, same with this purple shock, but Kendrick Nunn. Got the uh, pink hyper and the purple shock. Next up is this Kobe White. Um, this is from Prism Draft. It's another card I'm just sending because I think it'll look nice in the slab. To be honest with you, the um, best way I could tell centering, this one definitely looks off from this side to this side. But again, I like Kobe White. I think he's going to have some increase in value. And this cool card, I, I like the, the Pulsar, or yeah, the Pulsar pattern. And I think the pink and black will go really nice in the black border slab. Um, here are two of the Kobe Whites that I found that look really good. Um, didn't find any defects with the surface or the border or anything. The centering looks really nice on them. So I did get two of them. I'm going to go ahead and send those in, try those out. Have a few shy Gil Gilgis Alexander. I have the paper. 
Um, the regular optic, it looked really well centered and surface and everything looked clean. Um, as well as a blue velocity, again, looks really well centered, surface and everything was clean on it. And then another one of the shocks, uh, it'll just depend on how they look at the uh, print lines. Next ones, we got uh, one of the regular base cam reddish. <laughs> Y'all seen before, I had a ton of these, but I'm only sending one. It's the only one I could realistically say that should get a 10. So I'm going to send this one. And then here's another one of the variations. It's really well centered. I didn't notice any defects on the um, the surface or anything. On these, just like Optic, they have an outline. It goes around the rookie card and everything else. Um, if that looks pretty good and the centering side to side here looks pretty good, you should be okay. From then, just check your corners, your edges, and your surface for any scratches, and you should be good to go. Next up is two of the uh, pink hypers these do have print lines in them so once again just ones that i'm gonna submit and see i don't know how they'll go about that but at any rate though though they should pop in those those cases and be a pretty cool card to have graded next up i have the base don russ rui hachimura this is another set horrible on the centering and the cuts they did this one seems to be pretty good it might be a little bit down towards the bottom right um but otherwise it's very close so i'm hoping it, it gets good grade on this um i have a couple have two of the base that seemed pretty good um centering looked good surface looked good corners edges everything looked good so i'm gonna try these two i have one of the uh, photo variations um again just another one to me seemed like it would grade out well um so I'm gonna send that one in i have the red white and blue same case looked really good so i'm gonna give that one a chance i i actually like the red white and blue design this year um last year's it kind of reminded me of like a barber shop so um but i i kind of like this one the way it just flows together especially with the wizards uniform and the red white and blue next up as I showed you before, the uh, Trey Young, I did have another one, but I'm not sending this one. These three seem to be pretty good. They all seemed really well centered. I didn't see any surface issues on them. Um, you know, corners and everything are crisp, as you can see. Um, so these three should turn out pretty good. Um, but I got three of the Trey Young Don Russ base. And then I have, again, another one of the shocks. Um, so we'll see how that one goes. I showed you in the last video, I did cement a Luca and told you I thought I had another one at least. I thought I had a couple more, but I did find the other one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send it in. It looks very well centered. Corners are sharp and everything. So I think it'll do good. To following the Luca theme, I have a prism base that I felt was in really good shape. So think this one will go I have a, a ton more of these so um, I just I'm sending one in um, and I found one that I thought was best and then with the theme of praying that they do good um, I have the purple shock this one is a little off center top to bottom um, but it's the purple shock I love the look of the card and I think the black border gives it a nice touch I have two of the pink hyper lucas this one seems to be off it's higher than the other one but um again just going to try it out i have an 1819 prism Giannis green this one looked really well centered surface and everything was perfect and clean on it so going to try Giannis out can't go wrong with grading Giannis. next up we got the 1920 prism silver Again, good card. Um, I think this one will do really well. This is a uh, Optic Fast Break. It is numbered. This card, I believe, did have a small, small scratch. I'm hoping that it's okay and at least get like a 9.5. Um, it's numbered out of 155. But again, the purples and the black border, I, it's kind of my theme on this submission. Um, so hopefully, I 
get good on that. Here's the 1819 LeBron pre prior to Lakers uniform, but it is the green and it's in very well shape with the centering and the surface and all of that. Another player you can't go wrong grading. Sending in four of the base prisms. These are all well centered corners. Everything surfaces looked really good. Um, I think these will do really good and they sell really well. So that's another bonus. You, you always got to make sure, you know, if you're looking to resell and you got multiples of somebody, if you can make money off of it, it's a good card to send. Um, got one of the uh, this year's green in LeBron. This one is in the Lakers uniform. Um, again, well centered, corners and everything sharp. I got two of the red, white, and blues. Same thing. I think these will do really well. Then I have two emergent Zions. Not quite sure how to tell centering and stuff on these, but the corners, edges, and surface looked really good. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a try. Believe it or not, these are like 50 to 60 bucks, even with SGC. So I can't go wrong, you know. The, the insert selling even at 50 bucks a piece, that's 200 bucks right there. I, I can't go wrong with that. So I'm going to send those four in. There is the purple my house, just like the jaw. I love this card. This will be one that I definitely hang on to no matter what grade it gets. So that one's going. Um, I've noticed RJ Barrett been getting a little bit of popularity on sales. A uh, few things I've listed, a lot of people looked at. So I'm going to send in two more of his base on the prism. That looked really good. Two of the the optic, these did not have the uh, outline issue. The centering looks really good. The surface was clean and everything. So I'm going to do those two. And then this card, um, it's the blue velocity. It's kind of just like the shocks. I think it'll look really awesome in the black border. And it looks pretty well centered and everything. And the surface was clean. So I think that one should do good. Next up, these are from my PC. Um, Lamar Jackson got his... 18 Don Russ base. Um, this one looked pretty good. I have another one. This one kind of is off a little bit to the side, but I think it's good enough that it should 10. Or at least I pray it does. <laughs> but anyway, that's going in the PC no matter what. Um, and then I have the blue press proof. Another one. This should pop really well with the black border. I love this blue card. Um, so anyway another pc card and then next up is his prism this card had a couple tiny small scratches on it um i'm not sure how much that's going to affect the grade or you know if it's a common thing i've heard these are really tough to get graded so i'm going to try this one out see um but again it's a pc card so i just want it slabbed up and then I had to throw some hockey in there. It's been so fun opening hockey, although I don't know much about it. But um, this is a Young Gun Canvas of Rasmus Sandin. Um, I think it has a couple bucks, you know, maybe five bucks for all value. So I figured it's a good one to slab. And then Kirby Doc, he's one of the um, popular rookies out of Series 2 Upper Deck. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one slabbed up too. But anyway, guys, um, that is my 110 cards that I will be shipping off um, probably tomorrow. Um, once they come back, I'll definitely do another reveal video and show you guys. I am going for... <sighs> I'm hoping I get a lot of gold labels this time. I know it's not, you know... It's not a guarantee. I can inspect these cards as much as I want, but it's still going to be a opinion of the grader. And I'm not sitting here with all the equipment and, you know, everything else. I'm just doing the best I can, at looking at the corners, the surfaces, the edges, you know, the centering, everything else. And just taking the time. I literally have taken the past two days to look over these cards, and I have some that I am just sending just because I think they'll look good in the cases and I have others that I'm sending that I feel real strongly that will definitely get a 10. So with that, when they come back, I'll do another video and we'll go over it. Um, but anyway, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. You can follow us on Instagram at Bobbles and Ball Cards. Um, you can hit me up on Reddit. My username there is B-L-E-N-A-T-S. 
Um, but anyway, guys, I hope everyone stays safe, stays healthy. And until the next video, I'm out.